Exciting news, GPT-5 is out. Let's break it down. So what is GPT-5? GPT-5 represents a significant leap from GPT-4.0 and other models, and it's being described as a PhD level expert in your pocket. GPT-3 was sort of like talking to a high school student. There were flashes of brilliance, lots of annoyance, uh, but people started to use it and get some value out of it. With GPT-4, maybe it was like talking to a college student. Real intelligence, real utility. But with GPT-5, now it's like talking to an expert, a legitimate PhD level expert in anything, any area you need, on demand that can help you with whatever your goals are. Now, I'm not sure about that, but bringing us closer to artificial general intelligence with smarter, faster, and more reliable responses is the next step that OpenAI is trying to go for. GPT-5 represents and gives you the ability to have smarter model selection as well, otherwise known as smart routing. And previously, you had to choose between the right model. It left it up to you, the human, to decide between such obtuse names as GPT-4, GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4 and there's a lot of guesswork and a lot of those huh? models were buried and people didn't even know that a lot of these reasoning models were available. So now with GPT-5, it intelligently selects the best model for the task automatically based on your request. And so hopefully it does make the best guess as to what you need for the model and isn't simply trying to save tokens and expense so as to get the best responses possible. So no more manual guessing. Now, another thing with GPT-5 is that it significantly reduces hallucinations. And so remember those inaccurate or mis leading responses known as AI hallucinations, GPT-5 dramatically reduces those errors, offering responses that are consistently more accurate and trustworthy. Now, there still may be some hallucinations happening, but it's reported that that is happening less and less, which is great. There's also much larger context windows, and so you may remember the context length exceeded warnings. But GPT-5 handles context windows of up to 1 million tokens, and it allows extensive conversations, detailed document analysis, or deep dive research without breaking the conversation and so it's really important with context engineering that the more context you can provide an ai the better so gpt5 gives you that greater context through that larger context window now another key feature is multimodal integration which is a mouthful but the different modes of ai such as text image audio and video gpt5 goes far beyond just text and images effectively understanding and generating responses from audio and video inputs now so this means richer conversations and more dynamic interactions across those formats, otherwise known as multimodal. Also, there's custom personas and enhanced personalization features in GPT-5. Earlier models offered limited customizations, but GPT-5 steps up dramatically, and it allows you to tailor the personality, tone, and style to match your preferences and goals, and it remembers your context, making conversations more meaningful over time. There's also better coding capabilities. So for developers, GPT-5 sets a new standard as far as excelling at generating front-end and back in code. So trigger warning for those of you that hate vibe coding, it's not going away, but it's actually going to improve the ability of vibe coders to then be able to do such abominations to the developer crowd, such as autonomously debugging, testing, and refining solutions with prompts. It's not just an assistant, it's now your coding collaborator. GPT-5 provides expert level domain reasoning and so technical or specialized queries previously needed multiple clarification rounds. GPT-5 delivers precise, deep, and comprehensive responses across fields like law, medicine, finance, science, and beyond, giving you that true expert level reasoning. And then also another feature of GPT-5 is a more adaptive API and flexible pricing plan. Managing costs and scalability with earlier GPT versions was indeed tricky because it is consumption-based and hard to predict. GPT-5 introduces new API tiers called Mini and Nano. And these models that help you control costs, optimize performance, and adapt seamlessly to your project scale. There's also deep productivity and platform integration enhancements with GPT-5. Integration issues with earlier GPT versions often slowed workflows, but with GPT-5, it's trying to solve this issue by integrating more seamlessly with productivity platforms like Gmail, Google Calendar, Microsoft 365 Copilot, GitHub Copilot, Cursor, IDE, and Azure AI Foundry, to name a few, becoming more central to your tech ecosystem. There's also the feature of next-level AI safety and responsibility. 
Past GPT models were susceptible more to unsafe prompts or misuse, so GPT-5 drastically improved safety through proactive detection, safer completions, fewer outright refusals, and more nuanced responses. It can handle tricky dual-use scenarios more responsibly. So upon further review, whether you're a casual user or deep into coding or somewhere in between, GPT-5 addresses past pain points and unlocks powerful new possibilities. So remember, AI is advancing rapidly. Today is the least powerful it'll ever be moving forward and gpt5 is a huge leap forward available right now to all users from the free level to the pro level and beyond and so for more ai training be sure to check out rapidreskill.com and thanks for watching we'll see you next time